kid, you know Jeffrey's been somebody bit for the past three <laughs> weeks, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's up, CJ? CJ? What's up? What's up, man? Want to go to prison? What? <laughs> nah, pick up Jeffrey. He's touching down today. You want to roll? Yeah, for sure. What Jeffrey doing locked up anyway? We'll talk about that later, man. Let's roll. We're late. Dusk, the sun led the way into the city of Thailand. Good to hang with you, brother. I'm sorry I could not get it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, it ain't Jeffrey no more. It's OG Low. OG Low. Oh, yeah. He's a real gangster now. <laughs> I see. What'd he do? Anything he can be thrown in jail for? For his career? Joyride? Parking fines? Or some other bullshit? Hey, Who's our way in culture with other people? It's rather a breathe to become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Hey, did that fool go? Look at this fool, man. Perpetrate like he banging. Think he hard. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I know that fool can't be serious. Hey, what's happening with you, Jeffrey? Hey, man, it's OG Loke, homie. OG Loke! Ah, ah, my bad. How was it, though, homie? Man, what you think? How was it? Hey, chill out, dude. So what you want to do now? Man, I got to kill some Chola motherfucker. He was dissing me, man. Hey, Jeff, I thought you was going to, uh, college. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck you. Motherfucker done stole my rhymes. He's in East Flores. Hey, give me a strap. Man, won't you stalls out with that shit and get in the car? Fool. <laughs> Why wouldn't you What's your plan? Man. Big gangster? Man. Now you a free man and all. Man, I ain't free. I'm gonna roll up with the lobby up with a job. Motherfucker always trying to keep a player down. You got that right. Still, ain't so bad. I'm gonna be a hygiene technician. Coming up in the world, huh? Just a stepping stone to greatness. The real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty new hostel with the little jars as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree. Europe was overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the wild traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about travel. You know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia? Man, this is the spot. Ain't this Vagos hood? Man, I don't give a shit. I'm gangster. <laughs> Come on, let's leave Loke to deal with Casanova. Hey, I'll stick with Jeff. I mean, Loke. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys back on the set. Freddy, I've come for you, you motherfucker! Hey, Loke, hold up! Jeffrey, you got the wrong idea, man. That was just a prison thing. I, I got plenty of muchachas on the outside. I don't need your scrawny ass. Man, ignore him. CJ, I don't know what he talking about. Hey, yo, give me back my rhymes, you thief. I'm gangster. You dropped a soap, sugar. I don't know nothing about any rhymes. Hey, hey, motherfuckers making a run for it. Hey, Lo, get back here, nigga, you crazy. Hey, yo, back off me, CJ. I, I gotta protect my rep. Well, raced up the block in 83. Ooh, chase right? me, chase me. Husband can't do his job, he's trained to pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a first time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition of the Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor. Come on, honey, I'm leaving my patient. Smoking is the sensation of my body. I've always wanted to see people. I'm right behind the me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil. He's been I like a fat track, not the slow ass. I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. I thought you were keen, coupon. I'm 
Yes, Mother. This used to be a free country. When? Ah. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding founders ruled tobacco. Relaxed them between stressful states of genocide and burning. And you're so Oh, my God! You can! So. That anyone, my grandfather, swept his whole life that He lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bringing... This woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in... Yoo-hoo! Over here! It's much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weed, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact! Line two, you're on ice and... Hooey, Jeffrey! Time to go. It really made me think about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucked. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire. And shoot, kill anyone I don't recognize all my land. I just want to say thank you, that's a quality broadcast. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. I need to have a question. Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I you killed crazy, them all myself bro. with my bare hands. Can I get a jack break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then I go to your net worth offshore and complex money laundering. Hey, baby. Who called sweet? you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm cold. Gotta show a little bit more enthusiasm, Donnie. And there's a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first... He's broken my heart. Get him, boy. Yo, I'ma kill that loud mouth motherfucker! Your ass is mine! Oh, no, no, no! I ain't a minute like that! DJ, help me out here! Don't you say a damn thing, CJ! <laughs> Was you lonely low? Hey, I like a nice mustache myself. I keep it real. I like you fake ass motherfuckers. Come on, gangster. Let's get back to the grove. No, nah, I can't. I gotta go and sign in for this damn job. Whatever you want. You wanna ride anyway? Sure thing. Let's roll. Hey, take me to the burger shot in Marona Beach. You're the boss. Those guys are liking the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. Cause I'm keen with the hygiene on a mission like a super technician, baby. Come on, this shit, man. Look at you. All muscle and shit. Man, I got 17s on the head. You could've did that out here. Because I did it in the joint, it's real now. Yeah, I guess it is. Gangster. Close for the bigger man. Don't be bound by society, bogus medicine, and the media with their unhealthy focus on being skinny. Don't be constrained by trying to squeeze into a triple X. Bored of feeling like a man in a sausage skin in your size 48 jeans? Bored of being uncomfortable? Kilimanjaro, the clothes shop for enormous men. We're fighting to end hunger. Yours. It's a favorite show with serial killers and stalkers. Lonely Hearts is next. All through the sultry anonymity of night and sun of the day, you're on Lonely Hearts on WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Or as I like to call it, we can't talk right. I love you all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy, my wife, and I love your show. Thanks for the ride, CJ. Don't be a stranger, fool. Yeah, for sure. I'll see you around. Like a quarter pound. Later. <laughs>